In this session, guys, we're going to look at the rotation and the structure feature within the effects panel on the right. Okay, so I've got my project open here, so I'm just going to make sure we've got a color selected. Okay, so what do these um, features do? Let's have a look then. So if I operate the rotation feature and nothing happens yet, there you go. If I press the X, it rotates on the X axis, Y on the Y axis, and Z on the Z axis. Now, it's operating those individual quads, so face one right through to face seven as separate entities. So if I start adding other effects in, you can see it starts layering um, all of those effects what we've we've added into that, and you can change the color and so on, and you just make that effect look slightly different. Now, I've got to be honest, for me, X, Y, and Z axis rotations are too much, so I've just popped it to the Z, and I can play with the path, so I can change the rotation, I can change the speed, which actually looks quite hypnotic when I'm looking at it like this. Um, I can change the phase offset and so on and so forth. And you can see that because it's layered, it works as like a tier system. So let's get rid of that and put the structure on. So what's the structure feature I hear you ask? Well, this is really incredible and it's absolutely one of my favorite. Let me turn everything else off and you can use the structure on its own. And I often do um, use it on its own, especially when I'm doing gallery installations. And I've used just the structure feature solely to create long form immersive installations such as this that also um, change the projection so it almost looks random. I think it looks like an incredible piece of digital art if I'm honest. Um, and again, you know, once we get further into the program, we'll start looking at how we program scenes so you can have these effects go on a loop and happen in real time to music. So I've created immersive environments just using the structure feature, heavy M. Um, the Olga kit, which we're going to use in a, in a later session, and a uh, hypn hypnotic sound score that's all combined together to create a really interesting um, projection. And I can use the snake feature within this, which you know because we've used the snake feature as well. Um, and again, I can combine effects, and there you can see the snake feature is taking effect now through using the color. So the, the the structure feature is really a standalone feature within this. So it isn't affected too much by the snake. But when you start adding other effects on, you'll notice that those effects are, are um, added with the snake feature, etc. So again, you can combine these in really, really interesting ways. Um, and again, you've got all the options below. So you can play with the thickness, you can play with the speed, you can play, play with the depth and the interfaces, etc. Um, you can affect just one quad at a time. So like I've turned that one off there, um, you can um, have all of them affected or you can have every other one affected and you can program those so they come in and out to make it much more effective and much more layered within that. All right, guys, have a play with the structure feature and I'll see you in the next session.